Hello there, YouTube. It's finally here. Um, volume 1 of Azarello and Cliff Chang's Absolute Wonder Woman. Um, I'm so excited. Still in the shrink wrap. I'm going to get this out of it really quickly and uh, we'll dive right in. Alright guys, so it's finally here. Um, I'm so excited. I've been looking forward to this book so much. I've read the run so many times, but I still love it. It's such a good book. Um, Wonder Woman. So this is volume 1. Let's take a look at the spine here. This is literally my first time looking at the book. Awesome. Awesome. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. Um, so, collects issues 0 through 18 um, of the phenomenal series. So good. If you guys haven't read this series, uh, seriously, this is the absolute best way to read it. Um, I'm going to have to edit out this part again but seriously oh man I'm so excited all right so let's take a look at it it's out of the uh, out of the slipcase we got the cover of issue number one here absolutely stunning um, I showed you guys the spine of it so we'll just look at the back another um, cover of an issue I don't remember which number this was but gorgeous stuff by uh, Cliff Chang so let's dig right into this bad boy um, for those of you that haven't read this run, it's absolutely phenomenal. It's sort of like um, Game of Thrones meets The Sopranos, obviously with Wonder Woman as the protagonist. Um, there will be two volumes total. Uh, I think it goes up to issue 35 that these two gentlemen wrote, plus a villain issue or two. So that'll be collected as well. Let's take a quick look at the table of contents. Just pause the video if you want to look at it. Um, we also get a sketchbook in the back, but um, yeah, this is a really spectacular series. And I know Cliff Chang's artwork is very simplistic, but it may, you know, some people would argue it doesn't deserve the absolute treatment, but I think it's absolutely amazing. He's such a great storyteller um, with his with his work and. He's got such a unique style that just pops off of these pages. Oh, it's gorgeous. Um, you get this great, let's see if I can pull it out here, this great, nice, like, golden yellow ribbon. Um, but, yeah, no, this is such a great series. It takes you places you'd never expect it to go. Um, it's got amazing, amazing action scenes um, with characters like Apollo here. Um and of course Wonder Woman who shows off a little talent with um, with her wristbands off. Curious, huh? Um, it's also got Orion in it, which is great. Uh, he's a he's a fun character and really emphasizes um, Wonder Woman's power even over men um, that isn't sort of you know overly um, you know over. It's not it's not a book that needs to sort of show oh women are powerful it's um it's done really well uh brian azarello writes a really epic story basically the whole 35 36 issues are one entire story um broken down into little subsection storylines as well um i've got what may or may not be the middle of the book here here how about that take a look at the binding as always absolute editions have spectacular binding um the book feels really solid and um, I'm going to, yeah, there we go, jump to the sketchbook here. Let me just focus in a little bit. So we've got all the character designs by uh, Cliff Chang. You can sort of see the evolution of character designs as well. Sorry, I'm just staring at these. This is awesome. Oh, just going to sort of, not, you know, try not to do any spoilers here. You can see some Orion here some firstborn action some cover sketches really cool stuff um yeah it's it's a really epic storyline that you know you get to see war you get to see like i said apollo you get to see Hephaestus. um there's great great issues that take place in uh on themiscara great we got some some more artwork here. Um, but yeah, just a great book. I can't recommend this run of Wonder Woman. If you've ever been curious about the character, this is by far the best place to go and check her out. Um, she is, 
you know, it, it can feel at times that we're, you know, she's not, you got some Poseidon and Hades action, um, but yeah, it may feel at times that she's not the central character of the story, but, um, nice double page spread, I got lucky with that one, uh, yeah, sorry, anyway, um, she, it may seem like she's not the main character of the storyline once in a while, but honestly, it all comes together at the end, and she takes the, she, she's the superstar, um, so, art is mostly by Cliff Chang, and, um, Goren Suzuka, actually, does a lot of, uh, I don't want to say fill-in issues, because he does a few issues at a time, um, but his art is spectacular, you're seeing some of it here, um, really flows with the Cliff Chang aesthetic, and, um, it's really well done, I, I just love this book, I'm so excited, it's finally here, um, I can't wait for the second one, let's quickly take a look at the uh, pricing so 125 USA US dollars uh, and 163 Canadian obviously go to InStock Trades or Amazon you can get it cheaper there um, yeah and I, I seriously can't wait for the second one um, really great content in here it's about 420 pages or so just ballparking it from the dome um, but yeah highly recommended it's worth every penny you'll spend on it uh, really good book yeah um, I, I truly can't recommend it enough and it is gorgeous I am thrilled by how this thing looks um, yeah just take another look at the spine there fantastic stuff um, volume one of two get it while you can thanks for tuning in guys just a really quick overview where I sort of geeked about the series and you guys got to take a look at what's in the guts of it um, and until next time this is Nova from four guys in a comic be sure to check out our podcast unfortunately we haven't had Brian Azarello or Cliff Chang on the podcast yet but that is a new mission of mine thanks again guys and until next time you stay classy internet <laughs>